use our number sense to multiply nine and one hundred by five and one tenth. We multiply the one to get one zero nine. In the next place value, there's a five. X holds the place on the second line. We get a five, a zero, and a forty-five. Write a line, a plus sign, tally up the score. Two get one five nine five four. Let's think about the reasonableness of our answer by rounding to a simpler number. Then we can easily see where the point needs to be. Now let's get intense and multiply ninety-two hundredths by three and two tenths. Multiply the two, get four and eighteen. In the next place, value is a three. Write an X to hold the place, and then we get a six and a twenty-seven. Add it up and get four, four, a nine and a two, and there's one step more. Let's think about the reasonableness of our answer by rounding to a simpler number. Then we can easily see where the point needs to be. Here's another way to place the point worth trying. Look at the numbers you are multiplying. Count the number of decimal places in the product. Move left that many spaces. Let's think about the reasonableness of our answer by rounding to a simpler number. Then we can easily see where the point needs to be. Let's think about the reasonableness of our answer by rounding to a simpler number. Then we can easily see where the point needs to be. Visit numberrock.com for exclusive content, lesser materials, and more.